Hey everyone, and welcome to The Daily. It is so good to be with you here today. Uh, I just wanna continue to invite you to have your Bible open as we dive in and explore what God might have for us today. Have a journal and a notebook uh, as we write down what God is highlighting to us so that we can share it for the encouragement of of others or for checking in to make sure that we're hearing God right in these moments together. And also to be able to lean in with the going deeper questions as we unpack what Scott talked about on August 29th and 30th that weekend as we reimagine the new you. So that can sound uh, really happy-go-lucky, but after reimagining all the other things that we did this summer with rest and worship and your story and leadership and more and more than that, We have to get to the point where we realize that the old has gone and the new has come. And I want us to be able to look at the look inward part of the going deeper questions today. And we'll unpack a little bit of what's on the page, but also uh, to consider something that God poked me with as I sat here preparing to sit here and visit with you. So the look inward part of the questions says this. Many people have a misunderstanding of our relationship with God because God knew me before the earth was formed, Ephesians 2 and Psalm 139, and has a purpose for me, Jeremiah 1 and Romans 8, and examples throughout the Bible of God having a purpose for someone and a calling. Sometimes we don't believe we have a choice, and yet, Scott said, to choose is the most spiritual activity you will engage in. So as you look back on this past week, the first question, what choices did you make this past week where you felt like it moved you closer to the heart of God? Maybe it was a discipline, a spiritual practice of opening your Bible daily. Maybe it's actually to be here on the daily. Maybe you have a really good routine about finding silence or finding solitude, getting up early in the morning or squeaking out some extra time in the evening. How did that move you closer to the heart of God? Or the opposite. Where did you feel like you might have made choices that moved you further away from the heart of God? What created space between you and God or you and your ability to love your neighbor? We know that Jesus calls us to love our neighbor because as we love our neighbor, there we're also loving Jesus. As he talks to his disciples, as he talks to those who have said, well, we, didn't, we didn't feed you, we didn't actually clothe you, Jesus. He says, whatever you did for the least of these, you did for me. So where did you feel that your choices this week, your habits, your practices moved you further away from Jesus? One of the questions I also wanted to ask was on the back, on the second page of our Going Deeper questions. In looking at the way that you're following Jesus right now, how do you resonate with the phrase Scott used when he said, yesterday's faith never seems to keep us from tomorrow's crises. This is, it's true. We do not have a way to prevent what is coming tomorrow. We all wish that we could go back in March and prevent COVID from ever happening. But what does it look like for faith to have been on the journey with us from the end of February until now? And lastly, as you consider your journey of faith and what's what it's going to take to move closer to the heart of God, to be able to realize the gospel for you and for your friends and for your neighbors and the consequences that come with it and maybe choices that you need to make to leave habits, mindless habits that you just kind of did because that was easy and to replace them for real intentional practices or what somebody might call spiritual disciplines, to find simplicity or rest or silence or solitude or scripture meditation or scripture study. When you get through all of those things, the last question, what choice is God waiting for you to make right now? What purpose 
does he have for you that you don't even know yet? And just like the Israelites in Exodus 14, that he's calling you to step out in faith. Instead of pausing, he's already done the work. He's already given you everything you need to succeed. But what choice is he waiting for you to make to move forward? Let's pray. God, we love you. We are just leaning in on who you are and the way that you are making a way forward for us. The power of your Holy Spirit that you have given us if we call you Jesus Lord. God, pour your spirit fresh on us to give us confidence when we find ourselves between the weight of the world and the worries of taking that next step forward. God, give us confidence. Give us the power of your spirit in our midst. We come humbly and ask this. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks so much for joining me on The Daily. We'll see you again tomorrow.